Let me introduce you now to uh, Katie da Carrie Daltz, who's Director of Marketing for Turf. How are you? I'm good. Welcome. Very How are you? good. How are you? And what, what have you brought to the show? We have brought um, a lot of different parts that we sell to OEMs, a lot of equipment manufacturers for harsh environments, products that they can use to get data automation, information and data collection. And, and automation and data collection, then this is seems to be a whole new universe really that is a of, true story. Of, of information. How does this work in you from your standpoint? Is this application for equipment? Is this application for uh, a manufacturer only OEM that can use that then to apply to their equipment? It would be both. So we do a lot of, we, we pride ourselves on being solution providers for our customers. They have problems, they obviously are looking for solutions for um, whether it's automation in a factory or a lot of mobile equipment. We do a lot of parts and systems on trucks and construction equipment because we know a lot about rugged environments, temperature fluctuations, water ingress, all of those things that cause a lot of problems in applications. So that's what we do and that's what we're known for. So Are, are you working on now, let's say, uh, you know, uh, uh, advanced technology that is basically uh, robotic driven in, in some ways and that it's uh, wireless capability of op actually operationals? We don't do um, we don't do wireless, but we do do wired. Part of the reason that we talk about wireless, the challenge with wireless is always where's your power coming from? Yes. Because if you're running power cables, then it makes more sense for reliability and ease of use to still use hardwired um, products as well versus going to a wireless solution. Well, you also have uh, you know frequency integration and that right. sort of thing with a wireless system that can sometimes, depending on the environment give you some headaches. Right, and then you have dirt and dust and oil and grease exactly. and all of those things that can interfere with those signals. So it's very important that you well, use the right I'm solution. I'm going to ask you a tough question now. Which of the environmental factors are the worst? Water, <sighs> dust, air? Yes, all of them. Um, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, te I think temperature fluctuations can really be some of the biggest challenges because you're going from maybe a cold piece of equipment that then heats up over time. Sure. And then you've got sun, UV, you've got wind, you've got you've got snow, slush. So you have all those conditions that affect the temperature fluctuations. And in a lot of material, you have shrinkage when it gets cold and expands when it's hot. So we really pride ourselves on being experts on understanding those challenges. Well, that's good. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you very much. We appreciate being asked.